Okay, you could probably already tell what meat this is. Off-road meat. Now, there are many, many great off-roading vehicles. Today, I've chose to um, give myself a little bit of a challenge. And uh, mine's the one at the end here. <laughs> a Seminole. To be fair, to be fair, it does say off-road at the side of it. So, 4x4 off-road. So, we'll be fine. It says off-road for it. We should be good off-road. Right, this is where we're going to start. I always start, at, you know, at the same place all the time. So today, I've thought of going through my uh, exaggerated off-road trail. It's, um, yeah, it starts off with a crazy, crazy dip. So that's, that's the more unrealistic part. Yeah, and this is a great trail. Oh. Oh, okay. That was a bit of a struggle for this car. Oh, no. <laughs> If, if this is already a struggle <laughs> for my vehicle, um, I don't know how it's going to be on the more harsher off-roading that we're going to do later on. Okay, and uh, the first stop is going to be on the road. So, I've not figured out how I'm going to get to that road. But I'm pretty... Oh, perfect. This is exactly like I planned it out. I didn't really plan it out, but it seems like I've exactly planned this out. <laughs> I always thought this was a, like an abandoned area until they put the bunker here. Now it's, I guess, not so abandoned. Oh, and um, I nearly drowned. Oh, there are, <laughs> there are some cars that are probably, actually, to be honest, if a car wasn't going to make it, it's probably going to be my car. Okay, we've made it. Um, we've made it quite far, but I think so far we've still had mild off-roading. That's the only reason, I mean, my car can make it over anything. Uh, but that's the only reason why uh, we've none of us have got stuck yet. I think everyone's done just fine and um, I will probably fast forward to where we're actually doing some decent off-roading not just going on dirt paths <laughs> So here we started driving up this weird area and I was thinking shall I go up it? And I thought forget it. You know what? I'm probably gonna fail this but I'll just get a lift to the next spot and then my car actually started making it It was like I was 90% sure it wasn't gonna make it and I guess it did. Crazy. <laughs> this thing is this thing is crazy. It's actually underrated. I was joking about how great it's gonna be, but I can't believe it actually made it up that. And there's probably people that are gonna struggle to make that one <laughs> that one incline right there. And I see someone flying. Someone went up the hill but never used their brakes. <laughs> okay, I now have a firm belief that this thing can make it over any not over anything but it can make it up Mount Chiliad with uh, I wouldn't say ease but it can make it up Mount Chiliad how steep is this Ooh, okay yeah we're good again I don't have any brakes actually I probably should have put brakes on oh no oh no this is not the way I'm supposed to be I'm good I'm fine oh he ain't fine <laughs> send me okay Still nothing damage, no damage on my vehicle except just a few scratches. You know what? I don't understand why I don't do more off-road meets. I actually really enjoy these. Oh, oh, okay. I'm probably gonna hate it really quick if I keep doing stunts like that. But no, I, I actually really enjoy these. And I think everyone needs a rest now. We've been doing quite a bit of off-roading, so we might just stop somewhere here. Right, first stop of the day, we've actually driven quite far actually. We've gone through all this and then we've gone over here and this is our first stop. I'm probably going to do a lot more stops because it is night time and it doesn't look that great when you're recording at night. So let's have a look at everyone's car just before it hits night time. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing quite well compared to some people. Oh, he's returned it. But look at my Seminole. My Seminole is doing, it has a few scratches on it. And some cars, you know, have their bonnets popped and uh, that one car had doors missing. <laughs> okay, I think someone wants to join the uh, off-road meet. I don't think... I mean, he looks like he's a traveller, but I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think this is the correct vehicle to bring. Um, I'm so confused. What? What is this? Is it a protest? Why are they... What? I'm just, just going to ignore it. I would think that it's some sort of mission, but it's not. It's just... Okay. Wait, what brakes? Oh. These ones. <laughs> oh, okay. 
It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely not got any calipers. Unless this is some sort of engineering that we're not qualified to understand. Um, I don't think this is going to stop. And, the, yeah, uh, I, this probably should be at the front of the, <laughs> the off-road beat, not at the back. Okay, this is the start of um, our next off-road trip. Again, it's not heavy. Shall we go up Mount Chiliad? Shall we? I don't know. I don't know if my... Okay, forget it. My car. We're going to go up Mount Chiliad. And you guys are probably thinking, you know, we want to join as well, Hella. How do we join? Well, today is a perfect time to, like, join. But we have over a thousand spots left in this crew. So, there's a video in the description. Make sure you're determined to join. And... You know, there's a lot and a lot of requests. So the, to make yours stand out, make sure you watch the video in the description throughout like the release because it literally shows you how to join faster. And uh, yeah, once you've watched that video, uh, you'll get a better a better lead in front of other people that want to join. And yeah, hopefully I see you in one of these meets. Okay, so uh, we're going to start doing some challenging off-roading now. And really... Right now, it's, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have full confidence that this thing is going to make it. Now, um, you guys have probably done this trail a lot, so you have a basic understanding of the capabilities of this car and see if this car can actually, <laughs> this car can actually make it. But so far, on the not-so-hard part of uh, Mount Chiliad, it looks like we're making it. And um, I went, decided to go the harder route, but... Come on, Simino, you can do this. I know, I know there's another route, but I'm gonna go. Okay, we're gonna give up. We're not going that way then. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the stupid thing to do on Mount Chiliad is to do a, a turnaround. I thought I, I might have made that. There's gonna be other people that do make that, but okay, we've found, we've found the limitations to the Simino. That's, um,. One thing it can't do. But, you know, we don't have that much damage, to be honest, for nearly smashing into a solid object. Okay, the challenge has begun. And I'm not going to, you know, cheese it. I'm not going to go full speed and then get momentum to go up the hill. I'm going to, you know, go at this kind of pace. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. They survived, but they're probably not going... Okay. Okay. We're getting a bit more challenging. And, honestly... The Seminole... Okay, I, I went up the easy track. I went up the easy part of it. But this Seminole is doing everything with ease. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, that was completely my fault. I, um... I <laughs> wasn't paying attention there. But easy recovery. The Seminole has no limitations. Except that big rock that we hit earlier. But... Like, minus the big rocks that are like at a 90 degree angle the Seminole has no limitations but yeah I feel like I've not done this car justice we could have we could have done some more harsher off-roading oh slow down everyone slow down please slow down please slow down okay I'm gonna show okay easy it didn't even make it look like it was a jump right there I keep saying it but that was a good little trek we did. I, I do want to actually explore the limitation of this car. I don't want to. I don't want to leave here on such a mild note. So how am I going to do that? You may ask. Let's go up a trail, which is not really a trail. We'll have to go alongside a trail just so we can get some navigation. We actually know where we're going and not just random, randomly going off road. Well, here we go. We're going to turn left here. I'm going to take the more steeper incline. Now this, it may need momentum. Okay, it didn't actually need momentum. That was very easy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, I turned, I turned. I can still do this. Oh, V-Dub, thank you for trying to save me. But the Seminole no, needs no such thing. The most extreme off-road vehicle here. Okay, what's this about? Uh, okay, that hurt the underside of my car. There seems to be... Oh, there's actually a track going this way. But we are not going to take a track. I said it before. And I'll say it again. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. 
I think a lot of people are going to... I say a lot of people are going to struggle, and I see a go-kart behind me. Why is there a go-kart here? <laughs> well, that's it. I think um, we're going to not see any more, any more harsher grounds. That looks all stable to me. Actually, I see a challenge. Do I take it? Let's go. Come on, come on, Simonol. Basically 90 degrees. Simonol had no issues. Uh oh. Uh oh. Some people are not as capable of the Simonol. And I probably should look forward when I'm driving or off roading, actually. Oh no, we sacrificed a window. Did we? Oh no, we didn't even. I don't know why I was uh, undermining the Simonol for a second there. There is no such break of the window. Ow! Even then. You know what? I have I think I've got to a point where I can't find any, any way of, you know, reaching the limitations of this car. It just seems like it's too good of an off-road vehicle. And I think we're going to stop here. Probably going to end the video. And yeah, just remember, guys, that the Flush family, we are open. We are accepting people. If you want to get in, you know, we have loads of loads of applications. If you want to stand out, then make sure that you watch the full video in the description. Now, there is a PS5 server as well. So if you are on PS5, uh, please do join the PS5 server. But yeah, we're on PS5 now. And we're struggling to get a lot of people playing on PS5. So, you know, if you're on PS5, join, join our crew. And... Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you guys in the next one.